Try this once and notice what happens after you eat. Just once. Pay attention to your energy, your focus, and even your cravings. Eat the same food you normally eat. Don't cut anything out. Don't diet. Don't restrict. But change one thing. Change the order. Most people think they're addicted to sugar, but what they're really experiencing is a blood sugar crash that starts earlier in the day. When sugar or refined carbohydrates hit an empty stomach, blood sugar rises fast, insulin spikes hard, and then what happens? Blood sugar drops just as fast. That drop triggers cortisol and adrenaline in our body, and suddenly you feel tired, irritable, unfocused, hungry again, and reaching for something sweet. That uncomfortable cycle is what people call addiction, but it's not addiction, it's instability. Your body isn't asking for sugar, it's asking for balance. Now think about how you usually eat. Fruit first, oatmeal first, toast first, smoothies first. Those foods aren't bad. The problem is they're hitting before your body's prepared. So here's the experiment. For the next 24 hours, don't remove sugar or carbs. Just don't let them come first. Before anything sweet or starchy, eat fiber or protein, as well as fats, that's it. Fiber is the strongest break on blood sugar because it physically slows how fast glucose enters the bloodstream. Protein supports this by slowing stomach emptying and improving insulin efficiency. Fat naturally slows digestion and acidity like apple cider vinegar can further blunt the spike. You don't need all of them. Even one is enough. Eat vegetables first before carbs. Eat protein before fruit. Eat your meal before dessert instead of dessert first. Same food, same calories, completely different response. And here's what to pay attention to. Notice if your energy stays more steady. Notice if that afternoon crash doesn't hit so hard. Notice if your focus feels clearer. Notice if you don't feel the same urgency to snack. Notice if cravings feel quieter instead of demanding. That's not willpower, that's physiology. When you eat this way, you're also taking stress off the pancreas. You're no longer forcing it to pump out large bursts of insulin over and over again. Over time, those repeated spikes is what drives insulin resistance. Slowing how fast blood sugar enters the bloodstream improves insulin sensitivity. It keeps blood sugar from shooting straight up and protects your metabolic system long term. This isn't just about how you feel today. It's about preventing problems before they start. Sugar is not your enemy. The wrong order is. So remember this one simple rule. Before sugar, add a break. Fiber or protein first, along with fat, sugar, and starch after. Try it once, feel the difference, and you'll understand why so many people think something is wrong with them when it never was. If this helps you, share it with someone because this is one of those things you don't just have to hear. This is something that you will feel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments below, and most important, Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.